Good day, everyone. We are here to present our feasibility study on the addition of modernized GPs in Bataan as a step towards the PUBMP implementation. Our presentation consists of background of the study, statement of the problem, objectives of the study, significance of the study, conceptual framework, and review of related literature. Chapter 1. The data shown in the figure above shows that the jeepney has the most number of trips a day. It is also the Filipinos' preferred mode of transport because of its cheap fare and accessibility on every urban and rural areas in the country. Out of 179,000 jeepneys within the countries, 90% of these are 15 years old or older. These old jeepneys are more prone to accidents which could result to fatalities and damage to properties. In this table from the Metro Manila Accident Reporting and Analysis System, it is clearly seen that the PUJ is one of the major contributors to fatalities when it comes to vehicular accidents. The next is Global Historical CO2 Emissions from 1758 to 2018 to be reported by the next reporter. Global Historical CO2 Emissions from 1758 to 2018. The growing number of vehicles also means that the global CO2 level is also increasing, which causes global warming. This graph presented the changes of emission in million metric tons from 1758 to 2018. European Exhaust Emission Standard The data shown in the table represent the European Emission Standard that every vehicle sold must comply depending on their purpose. Statement of the problem. The parts of a jeepney like engines, chassis, and brakes are old as the vehicle itself. Deteriorating and aging parts of a public transportation unit could put safety of commuters at risk. Even with proper maintenance, the technologies of an old jeepney were out, outdated by today's standard, especially in pollution control. The next reporter will discuss the objectives and significance of the study. The general objective of this research is to determine if Bataan can cope up to the implementation of the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program. Our study has three specific objectives. First is to fully understand the safety risk to commuters that use old jeepneys as public transportation. Second is to know how much pollutants will be lessened if modernized jeepney is used as a replacement for all jeepneys in terms of carbon dioxide emissions. Last is to determine if operators or commuters can adapt to the adjustments if we switch to modernized jeepney. Significance of the study. This study, if implemented, can improve the quality of life of riding public and can be a step towards the moder modernization of our transportation system. The outcome of this study will redound to the benefit of the commuters, drivers, operators, and future researchers. As per the commuters, the, moderniz the modernized jeepney will provide a bunch of features and convenience. One of them is by having a fixed time of arrival and departure. For drivers, if implemented, the drivers will be regularized by the government, having their fixed monthly salaries with basic benefits. As per the operators, since jeepney drivers would have a formal training conducted by the government, the entire jeepney industry would have a fleet of skilled drivers and knowledgeable with the proper road etiquette that may result in minimized road-related accidents. Lastly, for future researchers, this will serve as a reference for students who are taking up civil engineering that plan to make a study in relation to transportation engineering. The study's conceptual framework will be discussed by the next reporter. In order to fulfill the objectives of our study, we will identify the respondents that are involved and set the required number of them per municipality using sampling techniques. After that, online forms will be distributed and online research will be conducted to compare the emissions of old and modern jeepney. Lastly, we will tabulate the result and characterize it whether the old jeepneys are still safe to use and if the operators would be in favor of the PUBNP. Next is the chapter two. 
which is the review of related literature. In the studies that will be presented circulates on the PUBMP of the GIPNUS. The first article that is related to our study is the lesson from GT industry in the Philippines. In this article, it concluded that the modernization of jeepney is necessary. However, refurbished Japanese engine will be used which could not comply to the emission standard for PUJ. That's why in this study, we will focus on the modernization of PUJ with Bureau for Compliant Engine. The next article will be discussed by the next reporter. The second article that is related to our study is the impact of Euro 4 automobile emission regulations and the development of technological capabilities in ASEAN. In this article, concluded that the upgraded from Euro 2 to Euro 4 reduced the toxic sulfur that comes out of the combustion engine. And Euro 4 is heavily more stringent than the emission limit of Euro 2, which was primarily implemented in the country. However, the most practical portrayal of the social technical development by PUBMP is gradual and incremental change. And the last article that is related to our study is characteristic of jeepney operation and demand in Metro Manila, Philippines. In this article concluded that the urban public transport system of Metro Manila does provide a reasonably high level of service standards for the country at the Philippines economic level. This is largely, largely due to existence of widely developed and spread jeepneys which do not receive any subsidy from government. That's all. Thank you.